Hey guys, so finally decided to do a video on how to mod a PSP with custom firmware. Now this guide is pretty straightforward and it's pretty quick. There is now a Infinity 2.0 update for the PSPs to install custom firmware, which just makes the process so easy. Honestly, it takes maybe five to 10 minutes tops to do all of this. It's really cool. So. This PSP here I got from Japan on eBay actually a few months ago. I kind of just received it and then just kind of had it in the box for a while till I was ready to kind of do this. So this PSP is from Japan and it has the whole, you know, circle is enter and X is back. So what I love about the custom firmware options is that you can go ahead and reverse those so that it's set up for North American region, the way we're kind of used to X being the enter option. Anyways, this is the PSP. This is running just regular firmware, uh, 6.61 for PSP. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to get the custom firmware installed. We're gonna move over to my computer right now and walk through, through that process. All right, guys, so from here, we go to the website that I have shown down below in the description. And it's gonna just talk about the custom firmware and everything like that, all the information you may wanna read up on if this is your first time doing this, of course. We're gonna go down to requirements and necessary files. So let's go ahead and keep going down and make sure you are running 6.60 or 6.61. If you are not, then make sure you download the update file in order to be able to get it updated to that. So then we're just gonna go down a little bit lower. There's a video here if you wanna watch how to do it. But pretty much the files we're going to need are going to be the 6.61 Pro-C2. I prefer it over the LEM one, LME one, but we're gonna download this one, which I already have. It'll actually take you to this site here. And then you're just gonna hit download and download the file from there. Again, I already have it downloaded, so no need to re-download it, but that's the file you're gonna get from there. Then you're gonna get the Infinity 2.0 installer. And you can get the downgrader if you need to. And again, it'll take you to the site. You're gonna scroll down and just click on Infinity 2.0 and it'll download the necessary file for that. Okay, so once we have the downloaded files, we're gonna go ahead and launch them and you should have them looking like this. So, as you can see here, I have my file explorer open with my PSP memory card connected. And I've already transferred these files, but pretty much all you need to do is, as you can see on the one that says PSP and SE plugins, you're gonna highlight both of those, like so. And then you're gonna drag them over to this folder. As you can see, I have them already on here. It may ask you to overwrite some files. Go ahead and just hit overwrite. If it doesn't, it's just gonna go through and copy it. Next, what you're gonna wanna do, and this is important based on which PSP you're doing this with, you're either gonna select PSP Go or PSP Standard from this folder for Infinity. Since we're doing it with the PSP 3000, we're gonna go with Standard. And in here, you're gonna see an eboot.pbp file. So what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna click on PSP, you're gonna click on game, and then you're gonna click on update. So there's already gonna be an eboot.pbp file in here, and you can make a copy of this if you like somewhere else, but all you're gonna do is click and drag that file over to here, and you're gonna overwrite it so it overwrites the original file that was on there. Those are the only things you need to put on your PSP. Now, I did go ahead and also add one of my games on here, which is under the ISO folder. So once it's all installed and everything, we can go ahead and test to see if this game works. So let's go ahead and disconnect the drive and go over to my desk and go through the process. All right guys, so as you can see here, the PSP is running 6.61, which is just the regular firmware for the PSP. So what we're gonna go do is go to memory stick and we're gonna scroll down to pro update and we're gonna go ahead and launch that. 
Now the button inputs are gonna be different because it is a Japanese PSP, so it's still gonna rely on circle as enter. So even though on the screen it says press X, just do what it says on the screen, even though it's a Japanese PSP. So as you can see here, it says press X to launch custom firmware. So we're gonna go ahead and hit X. And it's gonna go through the motions and then press X to start custom firmware. So we're gonna press X and it's gonna go ahead and reboot. So from here, we're gonna go back to system information. And you can see it says 6.61 Pro C, but this is not complete yet. So now what we need to do is go back to the memory stick and we're gonna select Infinity 2 and we're gonna go ahead and launch that. So once it comes up here, you're just gonna be greeted with Infinity version 2.0.3. We're gonna hit install. Installation complete, we're gonna hit X to reboot. All right, guys, now that we're back up, we're gonna to go to system settings and system information again, and we should see the infinity symbol next to 6.61. All right, now the work is not done yet because if you were to turn off this PSP, the custom firmware would not be automatically loaded. So from here, what we're gonna to have to go ahead and do is again, go to the memory stick and we're gonna launch infinity two once again. Now this time, instead of hitting X or anything, we're gonna to go to the left and we're gonna select Pro CFW by Cold Bird. Make sure the little asterisk is there. And it says the update is already installed. So from here, we can go ahead and exit out of this. And this is what makes it permanent. So from here, anytime you need to shut down the PSP or it restarts, it'll automatically have custom firmware loaded every single time. So you don't have to do this again. This is honestly a quicker way to do this than the previous custom firmware that was available for the PSP, so it's nice that it's pretty easy now. So let's go ahead and shut it down and make sure it's good to go. So now that we have the custom firmware installed on the PSP, as shown in the video earlier, let's go ahead and check it out and make sure it is running it. And we're gonna go down to system information and there we go, 6.61 Pro C Infinity. So now it's running it, it's good to go. I went ahead and did all the changes I had to do in order to get it to work. And I've also loaded Patapon on here, so Patapon is working. I've already run the game and it runs fine. Honestly, it's just that straightforward, guys. It's such an easy custom firmware to install now. It takes almost no time, as you saw watching this video. So if you have a PSP or a PSP Go, like I said, you're gonna need to do the collective work for each one. If you have the PSP Go, make sure you get the correct files for it. But yeah, that's gonna do it guys. That was just the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel for more content with the PSP and other older technology, which is games and you know overall tech like iPods, Walkman and stuff like that. So I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye-bye.